morning everyone we are carrying on with shape today and the textbook page numbers that you need are page 56 to 59 okay so we have got hannah and hannah has made a figure here she's made a shape here using different shapes okay i want you to pause the video and, ha and have a look at the shape and can you tell your adult whether this shape is symmetrical so does it have a line of symmetry so we learned what symm symmetry symmetry was yesterday um, and if a, if a shape is symmetrical you can fold it in half and what one side is the exact same as the other side okay and it, if you folded it it would overlap perfectly so would you be able to fold that shape it looks a bit like a boat doesn't it would you be able to fold that shape in half so just pause the video and tell your adult what you think Okay, so if you said that it has a line of symmetry, you would be correct. But what direction does the line of symmetry go? So if you said that the line of symmetry, see if I can get this straight, goes vertical, like that goes down, you would be correct. Because if you folded it in half like that, this side of the boat, that says a boat, would overlap this side perfectly. Okay, just a little reminder then of the lessons you've done before what shapes has hannah used to make this okay she has made let me get rid of my line of symmetry she has made this which is called a triangle it's got three sides three vertices tri means three we have got this blue shape but i don't think we've covered this yet it's got one two three four five six sides which means it has how many vertices it's got six sides it's got six vertices and this is called a hexagon and i like to remember that okay if it's got six sides hex has an x, has an x in it so six and hexagon um, and then she's got these okay these have got one two three four sides four vertices and if a shape's got four sides of our four vertices we can call it quadrilateral a, la, la, la. a quadrilateral okay because well, we can call a square a quadrilateral a rectangle and this shape but it's also got a proper name and this the shape um the name of this shape is called i'm not going to worry too much i'll introduce you to it now but i'm not going to worry if you don't remember it this shape is called a parallelogram a parallelogram so you might want to remember that in the future so Hannah has built this shape and her shape is symmetrical so we've had a recap of the different shapes she's used okay there we are there's our line of symmetry going down uh, if you were in school we would have had this and would have had it we would have had you cutting it out really large and had you folding it but we're at home we, we can clearly see that we can fold it in half okay sam sam has made a shape so sam has made this shape here and he's used a triangle and a parallelogram is his shape symmetrical it isn't isn't it let's forget the colors okay if you fold it in half that side would overlap that side perfectly lulu's made a shape okay she's made like a large triangle she's used two triangles and a parallelogram her shape is symmetrical look she's made a big triangle she's done a line of symmetry going down so if you folded it on that line sides would overlap perfectly amira has made this shape she has made sorry she has used four triangles and who can remember this one it's got six sides it's got six sides it's a hexagon okay and she just tilted it slightly for us and made it straighter so that it's easier to um tell if it's symmetrical so that might help you with your work today tilting your book okay we can clearly see that this side if we folded it would overlap this side perfectly it looks exactly the same doesn't it so they've all made their own symmetrical shape you might want to have a go at making your own symmetrical shapes when you finish your work today. You might want to practice drawing some. Or you could go on a 
hunt in your house and find anything that is symmetrical and send us some photos. That would be a nice activity to do at home. Right, your guided practice today is you just need to write down the letters of the shapes that are symmetrical. And remembering the lines of symmetry are not always vertical. They may be vertical. They may be horizontal. They may be diagonal. Okay. So we've got A. Is A symmetrical? Is B symmetrical? Is C? Oh, look what they've done with D&E. &E. What do you notice with D&E? That's right. It's the exact same shape. They've just tried to confuse you by putting it on its side. So if D is symmetrical, then E probably will be too. Okay. On number two, you need to draw a line of symmetry. I will let you faintly do this in the textbook in pencil because then in the future we can rub it out. So faintly do it in pencil on your textbook and tell me, sorry, and draw the lines of symmetry for me. And then as an extension, you could tell me what shapes have been used in each of these. And then here we've got, I want to say Sam or Elliot. Sam's made a shape. Is that symmetrical too? When you've done that, your page numbers are 49 and 50, and they look like this. We put the short bit at the top. We need to look at these shaded shapes and circle the ones that are symmetrical. So with an adult, you might need help with an adult, okay? If you put a line, if you folded them down the middle, would they overlap, okay? Would they, do they look the same? Or if you fold it up like that, or diagonally? So circle the shapes that are symmetrical, and then... On these ones, you've got to draw the lines of symmetry. They are all symmetrical. It's just figuring out where the line goes. So where would you fold them in half to make them look the same? And remember again, I've said this three times now, I think. It's not always straight up and down. It can be on the side. It can be diagonal. You've got to look really carefully. Don't just draw a line and rush it. Okay? When you've done that, send photos. And like I've just said as well, Try drawing your own symmetrical shapes, go on a hunt in your house and see if you can find any objects that are symmetrical. Okay, enjoy year two.